Let me show you in this second tutorial how to actually set up your drummer and how to use it. Here how to set up the Mac. First of all, you have to set up the wireless. If you have a wireless at home and your router, you're fine. But the best way to play the drummer is perhaps having your computer working as a, as a router. So here how you do it. Uh, you go in your control panel, system preference, and you go in sharing. And then you go in internet sharing. And then in internet sharing, you set up something like Ethernet, something you're not gonna use. And then activate your app. Go in Airport option and create some kind of name for your device. Let's call it Drummer. That's my network. Then activate it. Start it. And I have it. Now, you might want to know what is your IP address at this point. One easy way to do it is to open a terminal. And when you open a terminal, you can type the command ifconfig. And you can see somewhere here, en1, that's your wireless. Uh, INET, in this case is 10.0.2.1 and that's my uh, IP address for this computer and that's where my drummer will be connected to uh, so this is how to set up the wireless so here I'm gonna show you how you can set up the wireless on the Nintendo DS side so you need a game like Mario Kart DS which lets you uh, modify the settings for your wireless you go in Nintendo WFC, Nintendo WFC settings, then here you can create your new connection. There are no connections right now, just create the first one. Search for an access point. As you might remember, uh, our access point name was Drummer. Here, we found it, so we click it. Now, the Nintendo DS will try to connect that network, but it will fail, which is totally fine. Um, you have to wait for about one minute before actually the test fail. So here the error message because uh, the DS was unable to obtain the IP address which is totally fine, just press OK. Now click on connection ready which is not quite ready at this point because rather than having auto obtain IP address you want to have a manual IP address. So you will select no, then IP address, edit and write 10, 0, 2. And you might remember that our server, we configure it to have 10, 0, 2, 1. So we have to put any other number that is not 1. Let's say 2, for example. Correct setting, yes. Then we put subnet mask. 255, 255, 255, 0. Get away. 10, 0, 2, 1. Now, primary DNS. 10, 0, 2, 1. Save the settings. You can switch off the DS and you are ready to go. So here are the file I just downloaded from the website, Grammar Binaries. Double click on it to unzip it. I open it. There are several things inside. What you actually need are Grammar.nds. This file goes actually on the cartridge and you load it on your Nintendo DS. Um, then you have the Grammar server and a folder called Mac. Uh, if you go inside of the folder Mac, you will find a logic file and a GarageBand file. Um, these are the setup projects to play the drums, so you don't have to do pretty much anything, just double click it and you're ready to go. The difference between, don't register now, <laughs> the difference between the garage band and the logic file is very simple. Um, if you're playing with your friends and you want to record each one of you on a different track, then you definitely want to go for, for the logic version. But if you play by yourself, then it doesn't really matter, you can actually use garage band. So I encourage you to use Logic. So you open it and the channels are already set up for you and the project is ready to go. You can just click and record when you're playing. So this is all done for you. You just need to have it somewhere open and minimize it. Uh, the second thing you need to do is to open a drama server. So in this case, I'm on a Mac, go application.macintosh and I open a drama server. Open a small window. 
what you have to do is very simple. Just click on it in any point, and a pop-up window asks you to, in to insert a valid port number. Um, just input some really high number like 6000. 6000 should just work. And you can see that there is a green semaphore here that says you are connected. So the only thing you have to do now is go on the Nintendo DS side and connect it to the drummer server. This is my card where I loaded my drummer.nds. Uh, it's here, I just select it. Loading. So it's initializing the Wi-Fi and now it's asking me to enter a valid IP address. The IP address of my machine is 10.0.2.1. So if you follow the instruction up to this point, it's the same one. Otherwise you might have a different IP address. Press enter, then you enter the valid port number. We input 6000, so 6000 also here, and we are inside of the drummer. Now, make sure that the volume is up. And it's working. You click L in any point on the screen. Keeping L pressed, I can move my instrument on the screen. So if I release everything, and then I click L again, I can move it again. Well, actually, I create a new one. But if you click exactly on the same one, you can move it around. Okay? So, you can see on the top screen, this, here we go, that actually I'm selecting the toms right now. So, I'm playing with toms. To delete any instrument, still press the L button and down. Delete it. So, how you can create something different than a tom? Well, you click L, click any point in the screen, then release L, but not the pen. Now, if you move the pen, you're gonna see different colors, background, different circles, and all of them correspond to different instruments. You can see the exact instrument in the top screen. So in the top screen, we will see that we are switching to a crush, snare, bass, I create a snare and I create the different snare, the other one. They're different. Uh, the hi hat, to create the hi hat, you take any circle and you put it, you stack it on another one. So the green one now becomes a hi hat. You have different hi hat always depending on the size. Um, if I create, for example, another instrument, I could, for example, create an eye hat going on top. Or, depending, if I create a much bigger circle, the one stack on the top now, because they're always sorted, becomes eye hats. So, let me delete more. So, you probably want to start creating different instruments and arrange them, clicking L, on the screen as you prefer. You don't have to create them all, it's up to you and not up to the other players you are playing with. And you can put them in any location where you feel comfortable with. If you want to change the volume for every single instrument, you just click down to lower it and click on instrument. It gets lighter. To light. And if I click up, the opposite. It becomes darker and louder. Um, so you just create your instruments this way. You cannot create infinite instruments. I think there is about 10 instruments you can create. Um, and you can save them as well. But the good thing is that you actually can play them and modify your configuration of instruments at the same time. For example, I could play and then quickly my tom becomes a hi-hat, for example. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all you need to know to play with the drummer.